Ah uh, yes, today is the day we're installing that four inch lift kit, the Ready Lift SST kit. Now I feel like now is the appropriate time to do some measurements to see how much gains we actually get out of that four inch lift kit to make sure it's on point because we are throwing these stock wheels and tires back on the truck, which is gonna look a little like we skipped leg day, but that's all right. We'll start with measuring that front diffuser, the wheels, the back bumper and uh, go from there starting with the front end. So from the asphalt to the center of this air diffuser, it's exactly eight inches. So from the ground to the bottom of the front wheel well here, it looks like it's about 36 and what's that, a quarter? 36 and a quarter. Now the rear wheel well has about, let's see here, 38 and three quarters. From the bottom of the rear bumper is about 18 and a half. Let's get this thing home and get that lift kit installed. Let's go. Just like that, we've increased our ground clearance by a couple of inches here in the front. Four inch in the rear, three inch in the front. That was definitely backwards. Four inch in the front, three inch in the rear. There we go. This came out so sick. And honestly, it's not as bad of a look as I was kind of thinking it would be with the stock wheels and tires on here. Yes, it does look like we skipped leg day, but it doesn't look that bad at all. In fact, it looks more like the HD version of this truck. Not bad whatsoever. All right, so we did measure the front diffuser distance from that to the ground, the front wheel well, and the rear well, rear, rear, oh my gosh, I cannot talk. Rear wheel well, as well as the rear bumper. So in the front here, we had eight inches from that plastic piece to the ground on the center there, 36 and a quarter on the front here, and 38 and three quarters in the rear, 18.5 inches on the back bumper. So now is the appropriate time to bust out the measuring tape yet again and measure exactly how much we gained out of this lift kit here on the front as well as the rear starting with that plastic piece on the bottom portion of the front bumper here alrighty so we now have about a tenth of an inch under a foot so basically four inches last time I checked the distance from the bottom of this wheel well to the asphalt it read 36 and a quarter and it's now reading about 40 and a half so maybe I was a quarter inch off last time I checked but that sounds like four inches to me. A little bit more, but you know, that's probably my bad on the measurement before. And back here it was 38 and three quarters, and now it is reading just shy of 42. So that is pretty much on spot with three inches of lift in the rear. And the rear bumper was 18 and a half inches from the bottom of the rear bumper to the asphalt. So 
Let's see what that reads now. 21 and a half. So that is on point with the three inch lift in the rear and that four inch lift in the front. So there we have it, the four inch ready lift SST kit, all said and done. This thing came out so, so sick. I'm so hyped on this, even on the stock wheels and tires. This doesn't look bad at all. I mean, these aren't the worst stock wheels I've seen. The RST wheels are actually kind of sick. Got the black bow tie right there, but the tires are tiny. What size are these? Uh, 265. 6518 so that's about I believe a 31 inch tire we are stepping up to a 35 inch tire which is about a four inch increase which means about a two inch increase in height on the truck so this truck is still getting taller which is pretty exciting in itself although the wheels and tires aren't set to arrive until late next week now I know I know it's definitely disappointing I was hoping for it last week but there's been a slight delay with the tires Although the wheels are gonna arrive, I believe Monday or Tuesday this week, and the tires are showing up sometime later on in the week. So hopefully we'll have everything done and installed the wheels, the tires by hopefully Friday. But before we install the wheels and tires, the alignment needs to be done like tomorrow morning ASAP because oh my gosh, that is some camber right there if I've ever seen it. Jeez, that is nuts. Uh, so yeah, anytime you do a lift kit, a leveling kit, Anything to increase the height of the front end of your truck or decrease it, if you change the height of the front end, you have to do an alignment. So right now, our wheels and tires are doing this. We need them to do this. Therefore, save the edge of the tires here because I am trying to sell these. So if anybody wants these stock RST wheels and tires, and obviously great condition, they have 400 miles on them, then hit me up and come down and pick them up. I'm somewhere in the Orange County area. California so hit me up on those but dude this looks so much different now don't quote me on this but I'm pretty sure the difference in height from the front to the rear from the factory is probably about two inches as far as the rate goes because this here is a four inch lift kit in the front and a three inch in the rear and we still do have a little bit of a rake even though we went up an inch higher in the front than we did in the rear now for those who don't know what a rake is that means from the factory these things come lower in the front than they do in the rear now the main reason for that is if you throw anything heavy in the bed of your truck or you tow something you have room for the back end to squat so if you are looking for more of a level look then you probably want to go with the four in the front and maybe a two in the rear or a three in the front and a one in the rear or a two in the front and a none in the rear you get what I'm saying. This lift kit right here is fit for any 2019 to 2021 new body Silverado or Sierra, but it won't fit the Trail Boss, it won't work on the high country, and it doesn't fit the Sierra's AT4 or the Denali packages, but anything else, it will fit and work just fine. Any two wheel drive or four wheel drive Silverado or Sierra, that is not those trim levels right there. That upper control arm looks so sick. Hopefully we can still see it pretty good with the new wheels and tires on here because the new tires are gonna be a bit bigger and we'll probably hide a little more of what's going on back here. But nonetheless, that is a pretty good looking upper control arm right there. Now, the best part about this lift kit is it maintains the factory ride quality. So it still drives just the way it did when it was bone stock, which is great. It will change once I put the new wheels and tires on there. For one, we are doing all terrains. These are a street tire. All terrains do ride a little bit rougher on the road but we are doing a bigger tire, which means we are gonna lose a lot of efficiency and power because the 323 in the rear axle was not designed for 35s at all. Oh gosh, that is going to suck, but I'm hoping for the best. <laughs> I'm expecting the worst. I'll have this lift kit linked in the description below for you guys. Everything in that kit is what you need to successfully install the four inches of lift here in the front and the three inches of lift here in the rear. Everything is bolt on and super friendly to install, so you can't go wrong. Also, soon to come, we just ordered an air compressor and a a bed liner kit so I am doing the bed liner myself sometime in the very near future hopefully once the wheels and tires get installed we can move right on to doing the bed liner that is going to be pretty fun and interesting because I've never done bed liner before but it seems pretty straightforward and I don't think you can really mess it up because the whole idea of bed liner is to look pretty rough and textured so soon to come on that we'll be doing our own bed liner in the meantime we're just chilling watching the sunset we out here. Out here on a little night stroll, get a feel for what this lift kit feels like with the stock wheels and tires, and it feels definitely kind of strange. It feels super like top heavy. Oh my gosh. This thing is not chill to drive right now. Okay, so it feels like the truck is just trying to tip over. This thing is just so top heavy right now. Since the wheels are like super narrow and tucked in, and the truck's super high up right now 
for the wheels and tires at least. This thing is just like, oh my gosh, I'm getting shaken up in this truck right now, dang. Let's do a little flexing of the headlights really quick. So these are the low beams by themselves. I also haven't adjusted them down yet. That is soon to come, but yeah. I haven't done that yet. So I'd imagine me getting a lot of high beams shine my direction in oncoming traffic. I'm sorry to everyone out there for that. Yeah, this is just the straight up headlights. They are pretty impressively bright, to be honest. LED projectors are, are crazy. The brights don't do a whole lot. I mean, I guess they do. Give you a little bit of range. The annoying part though is you can't have the fog lights on and the brights at the same time. The brights go on and the fog lights go off. The brights aren't like in comparison to how bright the headlights are, the brights aren't like dumb bright. Those reverse lights though, bro. You can see those things from outer space. Last bit, killing the game on the lighting, dude. So that is fog lights on, right there. And fog lights off, brights. Yeah, they're okay. They're not the brightest things I've ever seen, but what's cool too is the brights and the headlights go on when you flash the high beams when your headlights are off, which is pretty cool. These taillights are so sick. Hands down, one of my favorite things about the RST package are these LED taillights. These things look so nice. I love the way the LED light glows on this part and this part of the taillight assembly looks so sick. So that right there is the taillight and then this is the turn signal slash brake lamp. Definitely a very bright, light, especially for an OEM option. These things look really, really sick. There's definitely a lot more things offered now in the world of aftermarket for these new body Silverados as compared to when I had the Silverado before back in 2019. I had the 2019 Silverado. Back then there was hardly anything to choose from. Nowadays there's all kinds of front and rear bumpers, grills, taillight assembly. Therefore, if you guys have the halogen setup back here and you want to go with an LED option, there's tons of options out there for you. I'm not too familiar with which companies are offering what, but I did glance around on the internet and find a ton of options nowadays for aftermarket rear taillights that are all LED. Aside from the taillights, there's a ton of stuff now offered in the aftermarket world, like front bumper, grills, rear bumper, all kinds of cool stuff. There's even options for bumper caps. So you can do the rear bumper, the front bumper, and the grill in a bumper cap like color match or black. I'm not sure of the options, but there is a company called Ecological. I met them back at the SEMA show in 2018. So if you guys have the chromed out bumpers and grill, you can do an aftermarket set of bumper caps that go right on top of the bumpers and the grill to give it a blacked out, either a satin black or a matte black. Not too entirely sure of their options, but check them out. Their website is linked below. I'm not doing any bumpers on this truck, I don't think. I did post one on my Instagram story of a front bumper slash grill combination. That thing looks absolutely insane, but it does cost a bit of a bag. So we're gonna pass on that for now. In fact, the majority of you guys voted against it anyways. So yeah, big uh, big pass on that. Although the rear bumper does need to be replaced sometime in the near future before the new exhaust shows up because this here is the side pipe. I need the, uh, the quad tip rear exit style rear bumper. So that is soon to come for sure. I'm not doing an aftermarket bumper, but I am doing a takeoff set from another Silverado that has the dual tip cutouts on the rear bumper here. So that'll go on sometime in the near future as well. But yes, overall, there are a lot more things to do now on the new body Silverado, which makes owning this truck a lot more fun. If you guys haven't already, please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. But that is all I have for you guys today. As always, hope you guys enjoyed. I will catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.